How do the five A's apply when casting people? Rosie Jones. Hello. So, the five A's are guidelines for disability inclusion the UK television production created by the TV Access Project. Ade Adepatan. They are anticipate, ask, assess, adjust and advocate. Ruben Reuter. But what does that mean when it comes to casting people? being in your program. Anticipate. Jack Thorne. You should fully expect to work and continue to work with deaf, disabled and neurodivergent talent on a regular basis. Ali Castle. So, be proactively inclusive rather than reactively so. Holly Cocker. Do you meet regularly with disabled performers and potential contributors even if you don't have roles for them at the moment? Sam Tatlow. Do you have a list of nearby accessible spaces that you can hold auditions? Lee Ridley. Are you very clear in your casting calls that you welcome applications from disabled people? Lisa Hammond. When casting disabled talent or experts, reach out to existing networks. They can help you and provide leads. Ask. Tanya Moti. You should avoid assuming anything of anybody. Charlie Phoebe. So seek to understand the needs, requirements, preferences of all disabled people on an individual basis. That's Timbo. Do you find out what kind of space the talent would prefer to audition in? Sherry Lee Houston. Including whether it's important for deaf, disabled and or neurodivergent people to be in a familiar environment. Ade Adepatan. Do you provide all talent and contributors with an access rider to complete? Bryony Arnold. Remember, never ask unnecessarily details about a person's conditions or impairments. Assess. Nicola Garda. You should value your self-reflection, being clear and transparent about how accessible you are. Tanya Moti. So produce and keep updated an accurate access statement about your organisation, your buildings and your productions. Kate Monaghan. Do you make sure your casting materials are available in multiple formats? Lawrence Clark. Do you ask for feedback from actors and contributors who have auditioned for you? Ali Castle. Do you share information about the space, the people, and the process that auditionees can expect before the audition? Sherry Lee Houston. Think about including maps and pictures of spaces and buildings and photos of people. Adjust. Kate Lord. You should promptly and consistently deliver what's needed to ensure the inclusion of deaf, disabled and neurodivergent talent. Nicole Stephen. So be open to doing things differently in your casting process to provide equity. Lisa Hammond. Have you secured any funding in advance for any access or adjustments people might need when auditioning for you? Natalie Amber. Have you thought about access when it comes to dressing rooms and green rooms or catering spaces, as well as the main set or locations? Dan Edge. Do you work with train access coordinators? who can assess and oversee the implementation of access and make sure that best practice is consistently followed. Stu Richards. Think about it. Flexible schedules and working patterns and regular breaks in filming are useful for everyone. Advocate. Rialina. You should set high standards for everyone. Jay Francis. So instead of eight or two, three, and actually champion. Bryony Arnold. Are you looking to work with disabled talent because of the lived experience they bring, not in spite of being disabled? Jordan Jarrett Bryan. Do you always challenge assumptions, ignorance and ableism? Chris McCausland. Do you try to cast disabled performers in roles not specifically written to be disabled? Charlie Phoebe. Why not commit to passing on the details of any amazing disabled talent that you meet that you can't cast yourself on your projects? 
with their permission of course, onto other producers. And remember, anticipate, anticipate ask, assess, assess adjust, adjust, advocate. Don't be a discriminating Derek.